hello guys welcome back to my channel and today we're going to talk about uh, map projection in uh, ArcGIS so have you ever found yourself in a situation whereby you have uh, let's say a shape file and uh, a raster or rather a satellite image of uh, the same area but when you try to overlay them in uh, uh, ArcGIS software or any other application you realize that uh, they are not overlapping uh, that's simply because uh, or we realize that there is a shift we realize that uh, there is a big shift in between they, are not, they, they do not overlap and that can only be explained uh, using the uh, map projection concept or rather uh, a coordinate system so today I'll be showing you how to uh, change uh, projection or coordinate system in uh, ACMA. So as usual, yes, I'm just going to open my ArcGIS application. And then uh, I'm going to add some data. That's a shape file. Uh, so this is a shape file. And uh, Let's, let me that just do some clean up or change some few things. So if you look at this map uh, or this uh, shape file, it's basically a shape file for a parcel or a property boundary. So uh, if you want to check the corner system of this particular shape file, just uh, right click on the tab, uh, tab of content just right click on the on the shape file then uh, go to properties so under properties make sure that you are you click on source and it will give you the information about the uh, coordinate system the projection so as you can see the projection is transfer marketer and uh, the coding system is actually a uh, UTM. So this is uh, a 1960 UTM uh, zone 37 north. Uh, it's majorly a uh, coding system for uh, uh, or it's uh, basically or rather it's a uh, coding system used here in Kenya majorly. So we are going to try in order to understand what we're talking about. So I'm just going to try and uh, overlap a satellite image uh, and then uh, you get to understand uh, what we're talking about so another thing that you need to know that uh, since this one is in UTM as you've seen this shape file is in UTM and I'm going to overl overl overlay with the satellite image and uh, majorly as we know uh, the coordinate system of our satellite image majorly uh, the Google Map or Google Earth is actually in uh, uh, WGS 1984. So uh, we're going to see how overla overlaying the the two that are in different projections uh, can cause problems. So I'm just going to open uh, in, the, in order to overlay or to add a base map, you, may, you need to make sure that uh, you have internet connection. So I'm just going to add uh base map just going to add uh, image labels then click add so make sure that you have a strong internet connection and uh, i recommend that you go and read about map projections So that we get to know what uh, what is map projection and uh, so as you can see map projection in cartography map projection is a term used to describe a broad set of transformation employed to rep represent the two dimensional curve blah 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 so go ahead just take your time go and research about uh, 
about map projection and get to understand what it is then uh, also read about uh, coordinate system so as you can see uh, you're now getting a warning so it's a geographic coordinate system warning and it's telling us the following data so also use geographic coordinate system that is different from the one used by the data frame so uh, that's it you can see that uh, uh, it's giving us a warning it's telling us that uh, uh, our shape file is actually in a different projection uh, different projection uh, to what we have the satellite image and as you can see we have the boundary this property clearly defined in this uh, satellite image you can see and uh, you can uh, we can tell that there is a shift in this uh, particular scenario so in order to, uh, to rectify that or to uh, make them overlay and uh, overlap so that you can uh, if you're doing uh, some analysis you need to pull the two into the same uh, uh, map projection and in this case you're going to uh, project this shape file into wgs 1984 uh, that is uh, normally used by the google google Earth or the satellite image or the base map that you're seeing you're seeing right now so in order to project or to change the coordinate system of this particular shape file what we're going to do is just going to open the act toolbox So, and uh, so when you're in Act Toolbox, make sure that uh, you're able to locate the data management tool and then expand. Then look for projections and transformations. Expand again. Now you'll see uh, this tool uh, toolbox uh, project. If you're interested with the project, double click on project. Uh, so our input is uh, the shape file that we want to do some uh, transformation and the input coordinates you can see that it's, it's automatically detected by the software and it's in uh, ARC 1960 UTM uh, zone 37 so there's nothing you can do about that you cannot change that so the output data we're going to uh, I'm going to save it desktop but uh, this time around I'm going to add another folder and I'm going to call it asset so this way I want to store my data and our output code system is uh, WGS 1984 this one here or uh, if you want to locate where it is, you can search it here, WGS1984. Or another way is to uh, locate where it is, or to find where it's located. And you can do that by going to geographic coordinate system. Since it's a geographic coordinate system, just to expand the geographic coordinate system, go to uh, world and scroll down and you see this uh, WGS1984. Click OK. So you see the geographic uh, transformation is from 1960 UTM zone 37 to WGS 84. So leave everything else as default and then 
clic OK. Uh, just give it some time to process. Let me change this to two. So the projection is complete. And uh, what you can do, uh, let me and try to add data here. Let's see how it behaves. Because uh, so let's give it a different color. Uh, let's say give it violet. Click OK. Now you can see there's a difference. This one is now overlaps or let me check that. You can see this one is now valet uh, correctly or properly. Uh, and it, it agrees with the boundary of this particular property. So if I, if I check the layer, you can see. Uh, that we can clearly tell that uh, there is a shift uh, so and uh, you can actually do some analysis and know the distance and there is a shift of about uh, 315 meters so that's a huge uh, shift and uh, it's important to do a uh, transformation so that to uh, create a reliable or to so that we can create or extract uh, useful information from your data. So that's all about uh, uh, reprojection or uh, changing coordinate system uh, in NACMAP. I hope this tutorial is uh, useful to you. Uh, kindly remember to subscribe, uh, like uh, this video, click the notification bell. So, uh, see you in the next tutorial.